Pipestone Creek bone bed is one of the densest dinosaur deposits in all of North America. So we have something from 100 to 300 bones per square meter. Uh, and the location, the actual physical position of those bones relative to each other is very, very important. Um, so what we have invested in this year is a 3D scanner. We're still like moving rock and, you know, crawling around and getting muddy and things like that, like all the great things, discovering new things. Um, so yeah, the technology does not allow us to like see through the rock to find the fossil, like this is not Jurassic Park. Um, so it'll, it'll only show us the bones that are actually exposed. Oh yeah, it's in there. And so the 3D scanning will allow us to take that and then put a third dimension on the bone bed quarry mapping. Um, so that will tell us, again, help us understand how the bone bed was deposited, um, but also maybe how the bones disarticulated as, as they were kind of moved around and buried. Um, so this bone here is a predentary bone that's from the tip of the beak of a Pachyrhinosaurus. Uh, if we were to do it at the bone bed, um, we wouldn't have such a nice flat surface. And so these points here, these are called targets, and this kind of tells the scanner where it is relative to everything else. So you can take this data um, and, and print it three-dimensionally. So for this, what we would do is, this is just the, a surface scan at the top. Um, so we could take this and then scan the bottom as well, and then merge the two pieces together. Um, to make a complete scan. So that, that is a 3D print of this bone from, the, from a scan. The other huge potential um, for this kind of mapping is we can now share our bone bed data uh, internationally with other researchers. We're super excited at the museum about the exhibit potential. Yeah. This will allow us to, to actually take like copies, a 3D copy of the bone bed to have it in the museum so people can can see it and you know, potentially touch it and, and interact with it. That's a rib bone here? That's a femur here? 